Okay, now I took some of the sides off a little bit. A lot more to do and I started to shape the beard out because he has a beard and he's going to have a nose. Uh, similar to what my Santa's look like. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to start with the top here and start chopping out this portion right here. Okay, uh, so that's our next project. Uh, we're just going to try to chop some of the hat out here. And the grain's kind of running kind of funny. It's kind of this way. Uh, if you can see the knife, it's going this way. So you want to be real careful with it uh, when you cut it out. You don't want to take out too much at one time uh, if you can help it. So, and I have my reference points how far I want to go in, so you're going to have to do both sides. You know, put your stop cut in. Um, you know, and uh, once you have your stop cut in, then um, just go back and spur it out. Just like so. Okay, let me get another knife here. That's a little easier, a little smaller knife. Sometimes these detail knives um, cut really nice. Um, you know, and I put a blog of how many knives people have. It's really amazing how many different knives a carver can have. And um, it's a lot of fun. I find these knives at uh, a lot of different places. As you can see, this is going to take a little bit of time to cut all this out here. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our time and with this project. I'm not going to rush it at all. Um, <clears throat> but I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays. And... Um, and I certainly um, hope that you enjoy doing this little project. I think it will be a lot of fun. i got to even up that brim a little bit. And there you go. And that's pointing up too high. So we'll try to pull that out a little bit more. It's a little difficult when you go against the grain. So I know my friends in Canada already had their Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving kind of sets our tone for retail down here in the States. And I work in retail because uh, uh, my armed guard work is usually at a jewelry store. So um, we're going to be very busy here shortly. Um, so I'll try to get another project or so before Christmas, but my time is going to be kind of limited. All right, so I do a little bit that way. You know, if you chop it off where you, where it should stop. See how I'm doing this pivot motion? That works out really well. And then we just want to cut a little piece off again and match it. Okay. You want to try to cut it off, slice it off. And we'll go back and clean everything up eventually. But um, this hat's going to be an interesting one to do here. I think it will look cute with a little him handling a pumpkin. So. so when I get offline here, I'm going to try to chop more of this whole hat thing off here. There's a lot to remove. But, you know, enjoy the process. That's part of carving is enjoying the process of it. You know, it's, um, I kind of debated where to go next with my projects here. And, um, so, uh, we're going to go, I'm going to put this reference point See how thick it is this way. It's really how thick it has to be on the other way as well. So that's really our reference point as well in the back. Um, it's really important to have things, uh, lines and stuff to help you not go too far on one side. And, you know, stop once in a while and look at your project and see what else you need to, um, you know, do or take off of it. Um, so, you know, once you get used to 
switching it around and looking at it. That's why carvers will go all over. You'll do one spot for a while and then you go to a different spot later and um, work on it. So don't let that discourage you. You know, if you get tired of working on one spot, go to another for a little bit. Or if you get, your hand gets tired of chopping things out. But um, I could have done some of this on a bandsaw probably. Or you can get a coping saw and cut it out. But I like cutting it with a knife. Um, most carvers do. It's almost just as fast if you know how to handle your piece and all. I need to get a spray bottle that half and half rubbing alcohol and um, I'm sorry, not rubbing. Yeah, rubbing alcohol and water. If your piece is a little hard, you want them to take a mixture of 50-50 and that will help you uh, soften up the piece. And I'm going to do that with this because this is a little tougher than I thought it was going to be when I when I cut it out here. So um, it's from the same lot, but sometimes you can get a piece in there that's kind of tough. And the other thing, you want to be mindful of keeping this pretty flat, you know, that you don't go inward, you know, that you try to keep it um, flush that you're not digging into it that when you look at it all of it's digging in like this um, if anything you want to go upward and you can always trim it off later if you can't get it straight on the first set here so just a few things to think about while you're cutting this thing up okay so we'll be back I'm going to go ahead and continue working on his hat and um, we're going to go back down to his face in a little bit here. We're going to shape up this portion and start cutting out the arms and the pumpkin. Okay? Bye-bye.